Hey guys, I'm going to talk about my new LG 3D TV. Now this is a 47 inch model LW5600 that I got for around 1300 bucks at Best Buy. Now before I got this TV, I had a Samsung TV returned after a couple days because it kept flickering and I couldn't watch lying down. So I made a video of that with my cell phone and I'll show you guys it right now. Hey guys. This is my Samsung 46 inch UND 7000 but I'm going to return this TV tomorrow because first of all this TV has a lot of flickering and second I can't watch lying down the glasses just turn black and I'll show you guys that now these are the Samsung shutter glasses and you guys can see the flickering right I'm sure you guys can see that yeah that's not good and when I tilt to the side the it just turns completely black you guys see that? It just turns black. So you can't watch lying down. So I'm going to get a, return this TV tomorrow and get a new TV. I'm not sure which one, but I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, I'm going to talk about my Cinema 3D glasses. Now this TV came with four pairs. Three regular ones and one pair of clip-ons. Now these are the regular ones. They're very, very light. I was told they weigh about 14 grams and the Samsung's weigh more than double that. These have no batteries and one good thing about these is the lens are very big which means the light when you're watching them it won't leak through the top which can be pretty annoying. Now let's look at the clip-on glasses. I have prescription glasses so these are very important. How you put these, put these on is you take this and you just Clip this sucker on right here, and you're good to go. See? Okay, those are the glasses. Now I'm going to show you guys the remote. Take a look at that. Nice, huh? There's only six buttons, and it moves around using a cursor that's located at the top. You just move it around, which I'll show you in a little bit. This remote runs on double A batteries, you could just take off from the bottom, put it back up like that. Pretty unique remote. Okay, I'm going to turn on the TV now. Okay, this is the cursor. Very cool just move it around and click on anything using the home key and it's pretty much good to go I'm gonna show you guys the input all the menu setups real quick this is the input list so if you connect any device to your TV it would show up on this menu that includes HDMI or USB or any other device let's click on setup this menu has all the basic functions aspect ratio, volume, brightness, clock you name it. One particular thing about this TV is it has an energy saving feature. You can put it on auto, maximum, minimum, pretty unique. It didn't have it on the Samsung. So that's the function menu and this is the layout of the 3D interface smart TV menu. This is the smart TV menu. Now if you look here, these are all the premium apps, aside from all the other individual apps you can install. There's YouTube, Twitter, VTuner, Picasa, Google Maps, FunSpot, Facebooks, and a lot more that are included with every new firmware update. I don't use any of these, but I use Facebook a lot, so let's click on that. It's usually a lot faster than this. I think it's raining outside, so it's making it pretty slow. Sorry about that. Okay, as you can see, looks like my girlfriend's already logged on. Let's try hers. And if you want to register, you have to go to the http colon slash slash tvfacebook.lge.com and you have to register your Facebook so you could use this on this smart TV. Now if you look here, it has every basic function that you would have on the computer. It has wall, friends, videos, photos, messages, and you could look at any photo or video and it would come out on this big screen, which is pretty cool. 
I'll show you guys a picture of one of my friends. Now let's let's take a look at Alex's. She has some cool pics on here. Okay, let's look at. It. Now let's say you want to see this picture. You just click it, and it it would come out really big. See that? And if you want to leave a comment, just go to comment, view comments. Take a look at the comments here. Actually, I'll leave a comment later, but yeah, basically you click on anything you want, watch anything you want. And also what's good about watching Facebook on your TV is you can do it on your couch. You don't have to sit at a computer desk or anything, which is fairly cool. Well, that's Facebook, and I will show you guys the 3D. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you one of my favorite movies on Blu-ray, Tron in 3D. Now, I'm in the main menu right now. It's currently in 2D mode, but we can change all that. Just click the home key on the remote. Click on 3D. Okay, and you're good, good to go. Wow, the 3D is intense. I'm going to go to my favorite scene on here. It's called the grid. And I will tell you why. Now, this scene in particular has incredible levels of black. If you look here, here, compared to any LED TV, this is probably at the top of the list. Here. And also, this TV is certified flicker-free 3D. There is no flickering. The Samsung, a lot of flickering. I got a lot of headaches. And also, you can watch this TV in any position, which means you can watch like this or like this. Usually, the Samsung would turn off about right about now, but as you can see on this TV, it's boss. There is also virtually no crosstalk on this TV. What that means is there is no overlapping. I had a lot of problems with my Samsung when I was gaming on the FPS's first person shooter games and it's a big problem. I'm going to talk about another feature on this TV which is the 179 degree horizontal viewing angle and what that means is I could have the same 3D effect standing from here all the way to around here so if you're going to have a bunch of friends over watch football on Sunday or watch sports with your friends. Ah, oh, shit! Ah! Fuck! Ah, oh, shit. Just stepped on my glasses. Look at that, I just broke them. Fuck. Thank God, these are my plastic glasses. They only cost 10 bucks. These were my Samsung glasses, I would have shit my pants. They cost like 150 bucks. Oh, shoot. Well, anyways, I'll order that later. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much the wide viewing angle on this TV. It's very, very high. I'll show you guys my 2D to 3D conversion feature next. I prepared you guys a small clip from one of my old, favorite old movies. It is called Point Break. I'm sure you guys heard it. And basically, if you want to convert it to 3D, you would click the home key and select 3D on the bottom here. And you click on OK. And this menu right here shows three different types. The second and third one are split screen. One for left and right and one for top and bottom, which is only applied for gaming. So if you want to do first person shooter games, these are the menus you would choose. But we're watching a movie, so let's click 2D to 3D. Let me put on my glasses here and check it out. Wow, that's awesome. This is really, really good. I think I'm going to go through my old school collection of DVDs. Yeah, that's pretty nice. You're going to be able to use this feature on anything. Movies, TV programs, documentaries, anything that comes on TV, any game. That's the best thing about this TV. And that about wraps up my review video. If you have any questions, I want you guys to leave comments on the bottom. See you guys later.